Welcome to the special episode of Sea Sparkles Corner. I got an interesting comment recently. I should do Star Wars? Hmm. Well, that got me thinking. Is the current Star Wars stuff that you find in Walmart, Target, and various other stores any good? I went ahead and picked this up today. Literally today, and I'm filming this today. Okay? And just so you know, the date of this filming, that way if you're in the future watching this now, is October 1st, 2015. Okay, this is a video that actually has to be dated, October 1st, 2015. Okay? Now the question of ironically came to myself thinking, is stuff actually better or worse? I've got over here three things from when I was growing up. Deep Space Nine by Playmates, a die cast Naboo, Naboo ship, which I'll be getting to in a minute, which I've never done a video on, and a Romulan Diderik's Warbird. I've got here on the left, on my left, the Diamond Select Enterprise B, which is the last one they've released, and one of those Japanese Star Trek ships. In the middle, I've got here Noteworthy Ships which I'm going to be referring to. Eagle Moth Publications, Defiant and Akira Cups, which I'll be getting to in a second. I've done videos on each of these, so you know my pet peeves here. And the Diamond Select Enterprise E. This is actually a reply to another comment. Uh, you're pretty bold opening them, getting paint chips or cracking the ship, which I'll be getting to that in a second. And the Hot Wheels Enterprise D, release date not known. Okay? But I do believe it was within 2005 with the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie. Or Into Darkness. I'm not sure which. And then I've got here the SR-1 Normandy. For a good reason. Okay? Now then. So. I was little growing up with these. I've lost them. I didn't break them. I lost these. You want to stop filming? Deep Space Nine, I technically lost. I didn't lost. I didn't break it. So that actually lasted me being a kid. I used to have this ship, but I lost it in a move one time. This is this ship was buried, and with action figures and various other stuff, I never actually broke this ship. This here is in fact my original Romulan Dieterx Warbird. The electronics in it still works. I just don't have the batteries in it right now. I took them out, and. Batteries that I used. In fact, I found this about a year or two ago. The batteries in it still worked. Special note: When David was little, he used to play with them. And I used to play with this ship. Mm -hmm. I was little growing up. This was within Star Trek: The Next Generation. People, okay? That's then. Now, I'm going to go here to Diamond Select the Enterprise E. I actually had this. Woke up with the ship in my bed, people. Let's put it that way. I, I still am guilty of playing with my ships. And I had this in bed with me one time when I woke up. Under my pillow. I think that says something right there. Now, I do believe the Enterprise B speaks for itself on, on the quality improvement of Star Trek ships. Because it's fairly film accurate. Not like the old ships when I was growing up, like the Enterprise D was a total joke. The texturing and everything didn't fit right on it and whatnot, so... <clears throat> yeah, they're actually getting better. The only thing I wish I had done was actually had this grayed out. That's the only thing I wish they had done. Okay, so we're going to jump down here from our little Japan Star Trek. I don't know if these are actually being made now or not, but... The only thing, problem I've actually had is that I've had to tighten these up. That's the only problem I've had with these. It's just tightening them up. So yeah, these are still good build quality. Okay. Now, we're going to jump to the Hot Wheels Star Trek. The only problem is that, unfortunately, they have a bad habit of just like, meh, with the painting on the Enterprise D. Everybody's guilty of that. So the only problem here is that the windows aren't painted in. And... 
The Reliant that I got back in my bedroom is missing a lot of paint apps. So the Jeff Price app would be the closest you can get to actually film accurate to speak of. And as usual, they didn't bother with the USS Enterprise 1701D on the up in here. So and they didn't bother actually painting here. I mean, but then again, this here is actually a toy. You are intended to give this to your kid to play with. The sales are tight. I mean, it, Diamond Select here is kind of like been having quality control problems. They really need me for a quality control officer. My, I didn't bring out the Future All Good Things Enterprise D because that's actually got loose the sales on it. So, which I found after I filmed that one. They have had some slight paint, paint app problems, but that's quality control, people. Everybody needs to do quality control, okay? So we're done with this ship. We're done with this ship. We're done with this ship. So we're gonna want to jump to Eagle Moss. Eagle Moss actually makes sculptures. They make statues. These are not intended to be toys. These are not intended to be played with. Granted, this has fallen off my shelf. I was getting a DVD or a game or getting something. Bumped this off. The worst has happened, and the sales popped off. Some super glue. Done. They might be models, but that's saying something. Now, I want to be clear here. The shelf, off, shelf height I'm talking about, just to be clear, to my feet, okay? To my feet, from here, to my feet. That's a good four foot fall. It's actually more than that. Yeah, I was at least six feet. I was I was underscoring. You were, your bookshelf is seven feet high, and it was at the top, so it was actually seven one top. shelf down. Okay, then it's about six to seven feet. Yeah. Tall. Okay. That's this ship. That is the Akira. That's this ship. That's fallen. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's saying something. Eagle Moss is still making new books of these. Now, why the Defiant? I like the Defiant. There's your answer. It's uh, Eagle Moss is suffering the same thing Diamond Select is. Quality control problems. Missing clear parts, sometimes a backward Starfleet emblem. But then again, these are Star Trek ships. When you're talking about Star Trek, you're talking very, very detailed intensive. That's why Star Trek ships have suffered for so much and so many, and so, so many mediums and quality and video games, movies, action figures. They're just, details on these is insane, okay? Now, we're going to jump to the past here to make my point, okay? This is the Naboo ship I was referring to that I had growing up that I never broke. That I've actually abused when I was growing up and I never scratched. You notice a huge difference here? That's a lot less detail. A lot Still less. good looking ship. Still a gorgeous ship. And granted, they didn't high gloss the paint on this to make it, you know, that silver where it reflects everything around the ship just to show off that they could because they did, they did one thing, they took the Naboo ship, made it simple, to the point. Okay? It's to the point, I know. Okay, folding landing gear, folding boarding door, little R2-D2 hatch, fold shut, you got your ship. Okay? Now, you're probably wondering why I like Star Wars, but they've always been done very, very poorly, in my opinion. Okay? Quality-wise, size-wise. Now, why I brought this out is that this is actually a sculpture. Okay? I'm guilty I actually pampered this a bit, and even then, I still broke off one of the tongs. Mm. Okay? So, yeah. Alright? I trust I made my point here. Now, to the meat and grits. What I picked up... Today, October 1st, from Walmart, I'm already skeptical because I saw one of these, all the ships in here, 
were broken off and at the bottom. Okay? I'm very skeptical of the quality here. Now, I'm going to be clear Let here. Let me clarify. Are you telling me inside the box, inside the store at Walmart, untouched, all the ships were yes. destroyed? They were all not mounted, on display. They were in the bottom. Oh, my goodness. Not even opened. In the bottom. And I want to be clear here. Four and up is the age recommendation for these. Yeah, because they're small. Kids can swallow them. Four and up. When I was four and up, I broke a die-cast Transformer Optimus Prime three times. That's because you had a mommy who loves you. Okay. I broke Optimus Prime three times. He was made die-cast, die-cast joints. I broke Ironhide. Granted, Ironhide was a joke to begin with. I can already see why they came loose. Okay. Let's get it over with. Let's get the stash, let's get the stands out because a four year old wouldn't even care about these, so I'm not even going to talk about those. Okay? But now, these are collectibles. Actually, these are toys for them. Uh, let's well, see. Some people consider them collectibles. Yeah, some people probably treat them like collectibles, okay? I'm not playing games, you're going to be right back in two seconds. Okay. The kid would just probably yank these out and break them, but I actually want to be able to look at these, and plus I'm actually skeptical of their quality already. Okay, there's the TIE Fighter. Now, I'm already expecting problems with the X-Wing for a simple fact is the new regulations on straight pieces of plastic over a certain length has to be soft enough not to put out an eye. So the X-Wing I'm expecting to be garbage to begin with. Not even sure I'm gonna handle the Millennium Falcon. Uh, review, because that's just basically a solid piece they could have made a solid piece and not even really? You've gotta be kidding me. Okay. I'm expecting the best one out of this slot to be the Millennium Falcon, to tell you the truth. All right, let's look at this uh, Neato from the new movie, Black X-Wing, as well. We're looking at that, too. Okay, we've got them all out. Okay. Eeny, meeny, I want to do the classic Luke Skywalker X-Wing. Okay. The S-foil opens up. Of course, it's going to be kind of loose when they're closed, but when they're opened up, still a little shibbity woobity. See if Looks they, real fragile. Let's see if the hatch opens up. Okay, I'm already seeing signs of quality control issues or master mold issues. If you look at the bottom sculpt for the X Wing here, here, and the top sculpt, you'll notice the bottom sculpt at the nose is actually a bit wider. Or you notice one quality control issue. Landing gear folds down. Now to be clear, these are kind of like the descendants from this. Because that's actually from the Star Wars Titanium line, just so you know. I can't even, without with my bare hands, I can't even get the landing gear down. You might break it. I can't even get the back landing. Can't even get the back landing Maybe gear Maybe it's not out. supposed to come down. It is intended to come out. I can't even get it out. Okay. That's one bust. And I'm not even sure if the hatch on the end. Let me get the box. It only lists crap like this on them. And it don't. It don't list if the hatch can open up on this X swing or not. And this is supposed to be Biggs's X swing, in fact. That's a surprise. Well, I'm not sure if the cockpit hatch and the back landing gear can't extend down, so that, that's one bust. Well, you gotta admit, Star Trek ships has to do only one thing, and that's look like your Star Trek ship counterpart. Okay, let's look at the T tactical uh, ion engine fighter. Uh, okay, the hatch opens up on the top, and it's got the uh, plug for the stand. So, you know what, even though I'm not technically doing the stands, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of them. They'll look better on a stand. 
I'm going to take advantage of the stands and just kind of put them on here. Even though technically these are intended for a for a four year old and up, they would not keep the stands. Okay, so we'll look at the POE fighter. Okay, this one actually shows the gear down on the back. And the hatch is shut on this as well. But I'm thinking they might have, okay, the hatch actually goes up on this one. I might as not be able to get the, I'm going to do a more shot at opening this one's hatch. Okay, this one's hatch does in fact go up. It looks like they have a little uh, lock peg under there, keeping it closed. Well, honestly, I'm probably not going to ever have the hatch open on the X-Wing because, well, oh yeah, uh, that will bend or that will break, but 10 to 1, it will get all bent to the woogity like that one. So right out of the package, I'm already seeing problems with them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, that's just, that's just deranged. Look at this. I don't know if it's like that in the movie, but whatever. Okay, let's see if I can get the gear down. Okay, this gear is actually poking out a bit, so I might be able to actually get the. All right, the pain in the butt, but I think the gear back gear can go down. Okay, I can already tell. I can already tell a four-year-old and up will probably break this one. So the two X-wings are. I won't give them to a four-year-old. Okay, my name Falcon. Okay. Orientated the... I know what time it is. Orientated guns forward. Well, the guns are a lot harder to grab or possibly pull off, but my name Falcon, I'd say it's a good solid build. Just out of pure irony, because, well, if you're going to have Falcon, it's just... Just look at it. It's just basically a solid piece of metal. So that's not something that could really get messed up. So out of this box I just opened up, the TIE Fighter and the Millennium Falcon are probably the best, closest to this quality. But the TIE Fighter actually being on par with that probably. You probably open, put this in your box and find this in good quality. But given these set to a four year old, these will be broken. I guarantee these will be broken. In fact, right out of the package, these are already messed up a bit. Sorry. Today's Star Wars ships. They won't be this ever again. Thanks for watching. Sorry. As always, the goods, goods and the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, and uh, this is actually a bit depressing. The Transformers build's quality has gone down through the years. Even, even the Star Wars off the shelf at Walmart's have gone down. The only reason these are as good as they are is these only have to do one thing. Now, you're probably wondering why I didn't do the $30 or $40 single item vehicles. Is because these ships said they were for four-year-olds. I was thinking maybe maybe they were still like this. Well, two of them are. Thanks for watching. I might do a few other Star Wars ships. Patreon links below up, up, and anything else. As always, as you saw, I read your comments. I, re I replied to them. So thanks for watching. As always, the fun never ends in the world smart, and thanks for the recommendation. Bye-bye.